Good evening, I'm Christy Cacciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. The old baseball field behind an apartment building on Salt Springs Road in Syracuse wasn't randomly chosen by the mom and boyfriend accused of dumping a five-year-old's body there, according to the district attorney. But with only premature theories, those investigating aren't exactly sure what connection the suspects have to that area. Over the weekend, police took down the yellow tape that blocked the muddy driveway all last week. Tonight, the DA takes News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan up the hill for a look at the tough terrain police were up against before they got to the child's grave. It's like an old home plate still there. Yeah. This old school's baseball field, once used by students, is a solemn reminder of the childhood stolen from five-year-old Nefertiti Harris. We're headed to Nephi's temporary gravesite. District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick and his team were first called here last week, just after the grim discovery. From what I could see, it looked like pajamas and she was in a plastic bag. And there was a number of other uh, articles of clothing uh, buried with her. Buried by the girl's own mother and her boyfriend, police say, the prime suspect herself returned to the scene of the crime. She came out to this area and pointed where she thought the body was. Uh, she brought you out here, brought detectives out here? Yes. A city judge approved a mental health evaluation for Latasha Mott when she was in court Friday. The DA is waiting on those results before sending the evidence to a grand jury. I think, in my mind, I have an understanding of why Nephi was different than the others, but um, that's something we're gonna have to wait to, for trial to explore. The baseball field and woods are no longer off limits, not protected by police anymore, but the district attorney doesn't want them to attract gatherings of people or memorials. He hopes everyone treats it more like a crime scene than Nefertiti's final resting place. We don't need any teddy bears or candles out here. And I hope people will just respect it as a gravesite and leave it alone. It's not the way the little girl should have left this world. A community left dumbfounded by what the girl's mom is accused of doing here. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Mott is in jail, accused of manslaughter.